On this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called writing a base protonation constant expression. Um, this is just writing an equilibrium expression for a base. In this problem, it'll give you the formula of a base, and it's asking you to write the KB, the products over reactants, raised to the stoichiometric coefficients, that sort of thing. So to solve this problem, you're going to start by writing the formula of the base, C6H4Br. And H2, and no matter what the base is, this is going to be aqueous. All of them will be aqueous. All of these bases in these reactions are going to be reacting with water. The problem tells you that it's going to be reacting with water, so plus H2O, and water in these reactions is always liquid. These are all going to be equilibrium uh, reactions, so make sure you write your equilibrium uh, arrows. Now your job here is that you have to predict the products of this reaction. You've got to figure out what they are. Now the problem is telling you that this is a base, and a base, by definition, a base is a molecule that gains or accepts or takes, whatever word you want to use, an H plus from its other molecule in the reaction. So this molecule right here is going to be gaining an H plus. When we write the product of this reaction, we're going to copy this formula down, but we are going to add one more hydrogen atom. So I'm going to put it on the end. C, um, C6H4BRNH3. So I've just increased the number of hydrogen atoms from two to three. And also we're going to be gaining a positive charge. We started as a neutral molecule and we're gaining a positive charge right there. And this product always, whatever this formula might be, this product is always going to be aqueous, AQ. The H plus that this molecule is picking up is coming from the water molecule. So that means that the water molecule is losing an H plus. So instead of two hydrogens, it only has one hydrogen and its charge is decreasing by plus one. That converts the water into OH minus. And the OH minus is always going to be AQ. These reactions are always going to produce OH minus aqueous every single time. Reactions where we have a base reacting with water. Once we have this equation written, we are ready to write the equilibrium expression KB. Equilibrium expressions, if you recall, uh, we have our products over the reactants raised to their stoichiometric coefficients, leaving out pure liquids and also solids. But we don't have any solids here. You have to put the formula of each product and each reactant inside square brackets. It has to be square brackets. It can't be parentheses. Um, C6H4BRNH2. These equations will always have one to one to one stoichiometry. That's just how it always ends up. So you won't have to worry about any subscripts. This right here is the correct answer to this problem.